the trebuchet, a medieval engine of war. With deadly accuracy, it could fling enormous projectiles over enemy fortifications, or it could simply smash down the walls. They're also useful for learning about mechanical principles and great for smashing pumpkins. Uh, one day, a boy comes into my class, seventh grader last year, this was about April last year. He goes, Mr. Hoffman, I have to show you something. He brings in a little camcorder. We saw a video on YouTube. This guy was launching pianos and cars out of a four-story tall trebuchet. And it, it was pretty cool, so I was like, well, we gotta build one of those. Once you got everything up and running, I brought the video camera in, showed Mr. Hoffman. He was really impressed with what we built. I was blown away. I said, let's all go over to your house after school. I want to see this in person. And what it was is they made the thing that most kids in that seventh grade would love to make, and it's a, a working mechanical medieval siege weapon. You could shoot like watermelons, melons, um, basketballs. Back in medieval times, the counterweight on the trebuchet would weigh several tons, but they would be throwing dead horses to spread disease or giant stone balls to knock down castle walls. Whoa! It occurred to me that a local farmer who had a real nice area that we could take this to, and then I thought, well, let's have some kind of a project revolve around it. Mr. Hoffman contacted Mr. Lentini about building a bigger one up at his farm. When we first heard about it, we went down there and, uh, yeah, we were very excited about it. Um, we wanted to do something that year, you know, making something like that. It just, everything fell into place. It was absolutely running a small business. They had to uh, do all their pre-planning, their designs, their sketches, put it all together into a nice advertising package. And then they had to step up to the plate and deliver it. We started out with giving pictures of our old one and saying that we could make it there and it would bring a lot of attraction to his farm. We made it so it would be fun and safe. Right when we were done with the presentation, he was like, well, who can I hand the check to? This base right here maybe took us a day of work. Um, from there, we started on the A-frames. The first day, it was, it was really exciting to start building it. It took like a month and a half of hard work, like 60. 60 hours, so 65 hours. It's 30 feet tall. When you drive up, it's on a it's on a hill, a hilltop terror. That's what we named it. The first time we fried it, we were really excited. We had the arm cocked in the position, and it was locked and loaded and ready to go. We were all excited. We all pulled it out all at once, and we didn't think it would like go that far, but it went pretty far. Remember the blue and the red color members? What were those showing you? You guys remember that? John? Uh, blue was um, like pulling force and red was like pushing together. Oh, I good. try to teach them a lot of mechanical principles. And I tell them all the time that you're learning physics, but you really don't know it. As we pull the arm down, the counterweight will hang from here up at the top. So it builds uh, potential energy standing there, uh, going against the gravity pull of the Earth. So that was also part of why we wanted to do this. We thought that this could become a good educational tool for other schools in the area that would like to bring their classes there and actually test it out, gather data, and uh, you know perform some interesting uh, projects out of it that way. With angular projectile motion, we're going to have something shot into the air and landing some distance away. Every year we go over mechanics, and in mechanics we talk about projectile motion. So I took all of the students out to the farm, we changed different kinds of pumpkins, large and small, and we were really able to see how changing the kind of pumpkin and the way that we threw it, how that changed its motion. So the trebuchet was just a great way to show the kids in real life how projectile motion works. Well, I think there's potential up there at his farm, and, and I told him the other day, I said, Mr. Lentini, I said, I know you want to get your uh, plum tomatoes planted, but I said, I think there's other seeds we could be planting. I said, there's other ideas, and one of the ideas was to try to create a tower, some kind of a wind turbine, and actually locate a real, you know, generating station for electricity. And I'm hoping each year to take a different batch of students, a different group, and throw them in the mix and, and do some sort of a collaborative thing.